Well, finally tonight, as we mentioned earlier today, the church remembers Saints Peter and Paul. Tradition holds that both were martyred in Rome and in the Eternal City. The day is full of tributes to its two patron saints. EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief Andreas Tonhauser has more. Rome celebrates its patron saints Peter and Paul today. The Roman holiday is an important liturgical feast and honors the two apostles who suffered martyrdom here. This celebration is one of the oldest examples of the transformation of a pagan festival into a Christian one. June 29th is the day chosen to remember the two apostles and was originally a feast in honor of Romulus and Remus, the two brothers who founded Rome. Christians decided to celebrate the founders of the new Rome, Christian Rome, on that same day. As Pope Francis affirmed, the city has special affection and gratitude for these men of God who came from a distant land to proclaim, at the cost of their lives, the gospel of Christ. The legacy of these two apostles is a call to live the Christian virtues, especially faith and charity. Peter and Paul did not die at the same time, but they are united by the fact that both died as martyrs. Peter was crucified upside down while Paul was beheaded. Peter, in fact, arrived in Rome around the year 50 and began preaching the teachings of his master. Having escaped the persecutions of Nero, he was later persuaded by Jesus himself to repent and suffer martyrdom. He served as the church's first pope, and around the year 67, the saint was crucified upside down at the request of Peter himself, as he did not believe he deserved the same fate as Christ. The present Vatican Basilica stands on top of Peter's tomb. Born with the name Saul, St. Paul's story is different. He converted to Christianity while on his way from Jerusalem to Damascus to suppress Christians in the city. Suddenly, he was enveloped by a powerful light and a voice that of God, asked him why he was persecuting him. Such light blinded him and forced him to wander for three days in the Syrian city until he was healed by the leader of the small Christian community. From that moment, St. Paul began the work of Christian evangelization. If Peter was chosen by Christ himself to be the head of the nascent church, Paul embodies the missionary soul of the new church. In fact, the two saints represent a continuity of the apostolic mission initiated by Jesus Christ in a fundamental era for the establishment of the principles of Christianity and the pagan world. Today's solemnity of St. Peter and Paul was a public holiday in Italy until March 1977, when it was transformed as the patronal feast day for the city of Rome. On this feast day, the Pope normally celebrates a holy mass with the blessing of the pallium for the new metropolitan archbishops. He then recites the Angelus prayer. Another characteristic event of the day is the splendid infiorata in Via della Conciliazione, a traditional floral decoration dating back to 1625 during the pontificate of Pope Urban VII. In Rome, Andres Tonhauser, EWTN, News Nightly.